Let's see how you look real quick. Yeah, probably like a fucking porch monkey. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm gonna crap it out. <laughs> <laughs> like, so this is a wig I ordered from White Label. All right, can I see this? I say White Label on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I had ordered this wig three fucking times. So I had ordered this wig three fucking times. I first ordered this shit on um, April 4th, because we was going on vacation in May. I had this wig since April, y'all. And I only wore the bitch for like a week. <laughs> like, and this shit is, you know, I'm going to tell y'all about that later. So the first time I ordered it, I ordered it off of my friend's card and I wanted it shipped to my house. But I guess they don't do that, which is dumb. So I ordered it and then they like took like, it was like two weeks. And I'm like, no, like I didn't get no confirmation or nothing about the wig. So I had wrote them and I'm like, yo, like what's up? Like I didn't get my confirmation. I don't know when my wig is coming. And it says like the wigs take about a month. So I'm like, I want it by next month. Like I'm going on vacation. I booked everything. I had to book my appointment. So I want my wig. Then customer service finally gets back to me like a day later. And they're like, oh, your order was canceled and your money has been refunded because the shipping address did not match the billing address. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So they're like, oh, can you send us the correct um, billing, the correct billing address to match the shipping? So I'm like, yes, so I did that. So then they put my order back on. Still didn't get no confirmation. So I write them again, like, I still didn't get a confirmation. Like, we're, like, when are y'all gonna tell me, like, when my wig is coming? Like, is it processed? Like, something like, so then they're like, oh, well, we had to cancel the whole thing due to flag stuff. So I'm like, whatever, I let that go. So then I finally get my card in the middle. The only reason why I used her card is because mine, I lost mine and I was waiting for mine to come in the mail. And I wanted to order the wig just in time so it comes. Like I didn't want to order it manly and then have to be like running around like a chicken with her head cut off, looking like ball has scaly wig. So I'm like, okay, I order off my card. So I ordered off my card, everything goes good. Um, they sent me the confirmation really fast after that. And this wig, since it was, um, let me see, hold on. Let me tell you my order. It was a curly full lace, medium trans, medium size, transparent lace 26, cause 26 is, 26 is the longest they go. And it was 130 density. So they have 130 in stock, so you don't have to wear them on, which they didn't tell me that until after. 150 is the one that's not in stock, so you do have to wear them on for that one. So my wig came pretty quickly. It came like maybe like a week or so after I ordered it. So then it came in the mail. I took it out the box. I'm like, oh, that's nice or whatever. But I'm looking at the lace like, baby, this don't look too transparent to me. Mind you, y'all, I paid. Let me show y'all. Let me see if I can find the receipt. Cause I'm in my email. Like I paid four seventy for this motherfucking wig, y'all, mm -hmm. and it was like ten dollars for like shipping. So in all, I paid four seventy for this wig. So I'm like, mm, I'm gonna give it some. I'm gonna give it a chance. Maybe it's like you know, cause I'm the site. If y'all go on that site, y'all, them shits be melted. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, like. That shit look nice. I'm like, bitch, I want the same exact thing. Like, I was going to Cancun. Like, I wanted to be the baddest bitch in Mexico. Looking like this curly shit was coming from my scalp. So, I um contact somebody to install for me. Like, but as soon as I got, like, to Mexico, like, not even that, like, before Mexico, I was like, mm, the curl pattern is really nice. I give it that. Like, if, like I'm going to wet it up and stuff for y'all and brush it. But this hair sheds entirely too fucking much. Every day in Cancun, it was literally like hair like, and I was doing what everybody say to detangle it, to brush it from the bottom and get, work your way up. I was doing all of that. So it's not like I was just brushing straight from here and then just pulling, like this shit sheds. So I'm like, damn, like, what the fuck? Like, bitch, I paid 470 for this wig, bitch. Like, and it's on the ground. Like, so then I got um, back home because I had went 
like 45 minutes away from where I live to get my hair done. And it was nice or whatever. I'm like, yeah, this is nice. Uh -uh. Um, and then I got back home and the shit was like, I'm gonna blame it on the stylist though. The shit was already like lifting. <laughs> like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what the fuck she did, but she didn't do me right. So I had my friend, um, Help me out like a little bit because like the air tabs were lifting. Oh, it's a full lace wig, so I got like the whole like perimeter um glue down. But the air tabs was lifting, um, the back started lifting. I'm like, oh my god. So, um, as I was saying, like when we get to Cancun, the shit was shedding every day. Then not only was the bitch shedding, this shit started balding. Like, y'all, I literally only wore this wig for a week. Like, so, like, look at this. Like, if you see this, bitch, you can see straight through that. Like, and this is the front of the wig, y'all. Like, I wish I could put it on and show y'all. Like, this shit, <laughs> like, right here is all bald. And I only had the bitch on for a week. That's from shedding. I'm like, nah. And their customer, I, like, I was really cursing them out. Like, I sent them one email, like, do y'all treat like the stars like people that be wearing y'all shit from time to time that y'all be posting all on y'all page like do y'all treat them like this like why the fuck am i not getting confirmations am i not getting emails soon as i ordered the wig and that sh the shit didn't match up they should have sent me an email like that like being that i'm paying damn near 500 dollars for this shit mm, that's my money you're playing with so they should email me like Sorry, but since the billing did not match the shipping, do you think it's another card you can use or will refund you and you could do the order over again and get it shipped to your friend house? Whatever. Like, they didn't do none of that. I had to reach out to them two weeks later. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's bad unprofessional. And I'm pretty sure they fucking stars that they got on their page don't got to go through that. Like, booty bitches. <laughs> I'm gonna do like different ratings. The shedding is definitely like a fucking 8.5. Like the shedding is very bad. But I found this brush, I don't know what it is, but it's good y'all. Like this brush is good for it, um, for the San Michael Mercier. This brush was like $30 from Walmart. Um, but it's good for the tangling, but it still sheds a little bit. Um. The, the transparent lace, I give this shit a five. <laughs> this shit is not transparent, y'all. I don't know what the fuck Tay be doing, but baby, this ain't it. Um, the hair itself, like the curl pattern, I give the curl pattern a ten. I really like the curls. Like in Cancun, I was like, yo, like I felt like that bitch. Even though the wig was upsetting me, like one day I stayed in a room all fucking day damn there, cause the wig just had me so fucking mad, and I just snatched it off. Like, I just wasn't in the mood for it. But their, their customer service, I get them bitches a zero. They're really bad. The price, this is a $200 wig. Not even. $470, I will never in my fucking life again. Ever again. Like, ever, ever again. This bitch been hanging up in the closet, y'all. That's how much I don't give a fuck about it. Like, it makes no sense how white label... Is frauding like they really taking our money and then they post all these really nice videos of these people and it's probably like it only looked like that for a day not even for just a video because this shit is really not transparent like I don't understand what transparent is to them but this is lace baby and when I first got my hair done I was like you even fucking see the lace like I want a nice install and a nice wig where you can't even tell the lace. Like, I want it to be, like, really, like, what lace, bitch? This is this lace, bitch. And I felt like that the whole time. And I'm just so mad that I spent my money on this. I don't have so much fucking product for this shit. I had, oh my God, I had mousse. I had um, leave-in conditioner, water, spray, every fucking thing for this shit. This shit was just poofing. It was just like, what the fuck? Like, I put mad shit. Like, every day I was um, doing a fucking way of putting mad shit in there. And this shit just, it didn't stay at all. Like, at all. It was like a waste of fucking money. Me bringing all the fucking products and then not fucking working for this shit. 
I'm gonna just say, fuck it. I'm gonna just look like Diana Ross. Mom, I'm here. Um, I'm 4'11. And the wig is, I think I said 26. It was like right here. Probably. Yeah. Give or take. It was like right here. <laughs> but yeah, the pros is the curls. The cons is the wig, the lace, the customer service, the price, the sight, the height. All right. <laughs> Would you recommend it? No, not at all. And the thing about it is, I was trying to look like, and I don't see nobody like, you know, like, cause I wanna, I like doing my research before I buy anything. And the only thing that they had was an Instagram page. I'm like, is something like I make a review about them? But it was like none whatsoever. So I'm like, maybe they just be buying people or something. Like, <laughs> so I hope like they see my video and send me another wig or something. Fuck. Hey, give me my money back. But yes, this is it's not worth it. Don't do it. Y'all better off getting something off the of alias for us. This just water. Do this for my block, do this for my fam. I know I'm the man, but I do my dance. I'm shutting, like I said. The bitch. But this is the front. As you can see, it's still bald. Yeah, it's really bad. Like, the balding was really bad. And the thing about it is that I had a middle part, and this is the side of the wig. So I don't even know how the side was bought when I had a middle part. But, um, see, the curls are not bad. And that's just for water. Um, that's why I would give the curl pattern a 10. 470 for a motherfucking wig, baby. You might have to put this bitch back in. <laughs> so I probably won't wear it unless it's like an emergency. Like I ain't got no other wigs in the closet and I got them somewhere. Throw the bitch on with a headscarf or something. Or my man coming over and he at the door. That's Bitches sent me a wig cap. <laughs> it was just a wig, and they had it um wrapped up in like some tissue paper that had white label um written all over it, and then it had your um like basically like your little receipt, and that was it. You know, usually you get like a little gift, some lashes. Mm, no, all I got was the wig and the neck. Yeah. Yeah.